She's gonna go sleep in his bed. Oh my gosh, this feels kind of like she's stalking him. Kelsey, I like colorful things, and we're back once again for another not so berry challenge. We're wrapping up the end of the orange generation, but it ain't over yet, okay? Plenty of chaos and insanity to come. My goal of today is to see someone die. I think we're gonna achieve it. Let's hop in. So we're back in the not so berry household. Foxberry feel intense because he's working on. No, 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 because he just needs amusement. I forgot that I removed his handy to skill issue. But he's finishing up whatever this is. He's a level four of handiness. We do need to finish out his baking skill. He's only baking level seven still. So maybe he could watch some TV or something. I want him to get his fun up. He's gonna take a nap. That's one way I guess to do it. Rose is having a little cookie. To be an artistic prodigy, she needs to finish these things. And what's up with Briar? Of course our sweet baby angel <laughs> loves being on the computer. I really want her to be a little gamer. So I think she might end up being a little gamer, but she needs to read with an adult for two hours. She's done one of those. So that'll probably be our next one. Maybe Fox could wake up. Oh, and sweet Rose cleaning up. Why don't you play a little instrument? Oh, it's 9.30. I think everyone can go to bed actually. And dad, I think it's time for you to go to sleep too. When do you have work next? On Wednesday, right? We got a bit of time to, you know, take care of his required upgrade some objects. Although we don't really need it. I think we'll be fine without. Witness the death of a sim and work on our baking skills. So all good things. Meanwhile, Briar burning the midnight oil, working on her mental skills by gaming. She's just so sweet. I love her to pieces. Such a smarty pants. Look at you. All right, go to bed, sweetie. I love that she's into gaming. That was such a fun little surprise from the game that I just adored because I accidentally put this computer down a little early for them, but it's fine. Ooh, someone needs to go. I love her little slippers. Rose's little bunny slippers are so cute. Those are CC, of course. Yeah, I actually kind of want them myself, not gonna lie. Why don't you take a shower after that? Maybe mop up a bit. I think she's gonna help like do little errands around around the house, empty trash and things like that. Briar, ooh, also needs to go really bad. Perfect timing, because your sister's done in the bathroom. So here you are, Briar. And Rose taking the garbage out, being a good girl. They're so responsible, these two. And then for breakfast, I'm thinking, ooh, a garden salad? That's perfect, Rose, I love that. What are you gonna have for breakfast, Briar? Why don't you go eat some food or not? What are you doing? Don't get on the computer, girl. I love that you're like gaming immediately. I wanna play a game but maybe we should grab a bit of salad or cookies or something. Here we go. Look at them. She walked over to talk to her sister. Fox, what are you doing? Oh, he had that in his inventory. He just pulled that out. I didn't even know we had bread pudding. Oh, but it's a gross bread pudding. Maybe we should throw that away. Sentiment gained. Briar and Rose had a sentiment. Let me see what Rose thinks of Briar. Closer from happy memories. Oh, I love how sweet they are with each other. Their, their relationship is like the highest it can be. They are maxed out. They are besties. Wait, 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 wait. Are they not officially besties? Can we become best friends? Become best friends forever. Um, yes, you guys need to do that now. So Briar's gonna be like, Rose, we're gonna be best friends forever. They became best friends forever. Oh my God, I love that so much. Why don't you two go off to grade school, girlies? Dad's working out, doing his little plum bob videos and they're having it off to school. Bye, girlies. He's crushing this workout and he's gonna go repair that toilet there. Look at him. So proud of him doing his workout. I think I might change the baking club to be not baking. I know that sounds weird, but I'm gonna remove that activity and I'm just gonna have them eat what he bakes. And we're gonna have a club gathering today for sure. Let's uh, maybe call the group to come over. I wanna make sure that we don't miss anyone's death. If anyone's gonna die, it's gonna be here, all right? Let's try bread pudding again since last time it was trash. What's up, Chuck? <gasps> Briar got sick and threw up. Oh no, she's with a nurse now. I'll do a thorough health check. I don't think Briar would be teased because Briar's a little tough cookie like her dad. I think I think she would punch someone out if, <laughs> if they tried to tease her. Ashberry has arrived and so has Lola. I think Lola's the oldest. Yeah, she's 
got four days left. And I think the others have more. Yes, yeah, six days. All right, so Lola, in theory, should be dying on Friday or Saturday. Hello, everyone. How are we all doing today with Baking Club? Oh, he wants to flirt with Reed? No, we are not allowed to flirt with Reed. Does he have a crush on Reed? No, he doesn't have a crush. I don't like that. I can't say no to that. Everybody's just taking a bit of the, the baked goods. That's good. This is very good. This is working very well. Let's bake something else. Hopefully the skill just goes up and up. And it looks like the male person is here. Uh-oh, I hope it's not Bills today. But if it is Bills, it's okay. Oh, Fatia's feeling flirty. I wonder what she's up to. I mean, she got a hot date later. I love that everyone just eats the food that we made. Bake club when no one bakes but me is ideal. Keep working, man. You gotta get level eight of baking, please, sir. Yes, level eight of the baking skill, baby. Oh, a friend's hangout. Oh, there's even more people coming over now. Well, who's coming over for the friend's hangout? Your day just got a hundred more awesome. You're welcome. So sweet that Violet came over. Brighten her day. Come on in, Violet. Welcome to Bake Club. We came to the party already in progress. Let's bake something else. We can bake fruitcake now, but we need this. Things. I hate that we unlock these things, but we can't bake them. It is pointless, to be honest. All right, let's do a cheesy bread, I suppose. Look at Reed is here. Aw, thanks, guys. And we're saying hello, neighbor Dominique. You are more than welcome to come eat some of my food. Come on inside. He's like, you know, a bit nicer of a neighbor lately. Hello, Violet. Welcome to Baking Club, the club where I have a bunch of elders in my club. Everyone's just getting to know each other. The whole family's hanging out. Oh no! Sterling has decided he's gonna go shower in the rain. Oh, and we're going outside too. I don't know why we're all going outside, but we're kind of shocked by Sterling's decision to shower naked in the rain. And we came back inside. Someone pranked my toilet. Come on. That is annoying. Who did it? Was it you, Lola? Was it you, Ash? It might've been Ash. I feel like Ash has it out for me right now. Oh, Rose should invite Amber over. I think, oh, and Rose and Briar are beast students now congrats girls i'm so proud oh god you f you fused together fun i love that for you both is that amber okay run inside there we go well we checked in with the club today and nobody died so might as well just get rid of them all i suppose hey girls amber is a good kid she is taking out the garbage what a good kid okay amber you're the best you're my favorite friend monkey around why don't you guys play together briar is immediately getting on the computer as soon as she got home something do not change. But Rose is making a little friend. Amber did not like monkeying around. Good to know. You know, it's okay. Everyone's going. Bye, everybody. We're still chatting with our friend. She's uncomfy. Play make believe. That might be cute. Who's being mean to you? Why would you yell at your briar? Is it because she, oh, she's dripping all over the floor. Don't be mean to your kids. I know you're an evil dad, but you need to stop. We're finishing up our stuff and then we'll read to briar. Oh, she's helping us bake. That's very sweet. There we go. Your cheesy bread done. We'll read to Briar because that's on her little to-do list and she wants to be read to for an hour. These two are having a moment. Something smells apparently. Wait, did you finish reading to her or not? I don't think that was a full hour, sir. Stop that. I do not care about your gaming skills, sir. We are reading to our child Briar because Briar deserves it. Briar, come on. Dad's going to read to you. Dad, you better read the whole hour, okay? There we go. Woohoo! Briar's to the next level of whiz, kid. She needs to finish homework two times while focused. Perfect. Perfect. Let's get you focused. Let's take a thoughtful shower. And then, oh, Rose is scared because of the thunderstorm. Baby, don't go outside. She's cleaning up puddles outside in the storm. You know, when I said for you to clean up the puzzle, that's not what I meant. Sweet baby angel, get inside. Let's grab a bit of food here. You're okay, sweetie. I'm so sorry. Why is your friend making a mess in the house? I feel like he's gonna be like, hey, don't do that. I should really get going now. Oh, now when the dad was gonna tell you not to make a mess in his house is when you need to get going. Hmm, interesting, interesting. That was convenient. I don't know if I really love Rose's friend, Amber. I just liked her when she was taking the trash out. She's inspired, she's not focused, shoot. Okay, why don't you ponder some moves? I think that'll get you focused. Here we go, my little 
little whiz kid. And Rose, why don't you, oh, she's going to bed? It's only eight, sweetie. Why don't you do your homework real quick before you go to bed, okay? I'm sorry, but we need you to do your homework. Briar, we also need you to do your homework, so please focus a little bit quicker. Oh, she's gonna play with dad. That's cute. Rose Berry finished her homework. Good job, Rose. Now, can you play your violin a little bit? Briar is so, it's fine. You know what, just do your homework. I wanted you to be more focused rather than inspired, but that was on me for not knowing what thoughtful shower meant. Look at our sweetie. Rose has reached creativity level seven. Good job, Rose. Let's draw people maybe. That might be good. I know I'm keeping my kids up a little late, but it is what it is. Ooh, she's focused right now. If she finishes, maybe that'll count. It did count. Yes. I'm glad she was focused. And my sweet angel just like having a good time drawing on the activity table. Dad hasn't thrown away a single one of these drawings that she's made. All right, sweetie, I think it's time for you to go to bed. Your sister already went to bed. And Fox still needs to witness the death of a sim. Still hasn't done that. Sturdy faucets. Yeah, go upgrade something else in the house since you've got to do that for work and we really want to get a promotion tomorrow. Ah, excellent. All right, he finished installing. Everything's fantastic. I'm gonna go chat with Angelina. Okay, we'll let that happen. Who is Angelina? She looks like an alien. Is she like a contact? Is she part of the scheme? Oh, and then look, there's a servo over here doing some yoga. And Angelina's gone. Wow, that was mysterious. Go repair Joe. I wanna see if you could do it. You're pretty good with handiness. Here we go. Is this handiness technically? No, it's robotics. Oh, we are not very good at that, Joe. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, and Joe just ran away. Honestly, I don't blame Joe for running away from us since we are more of like an amateur handyman. So so probably not the best person for the job in terms of fixing you, Joe. Oh, shoot. Looks like something else needs fixed in the house. Let's attempt to repair it ourselves. And if we can't, we'll call the landlord. He's doing a pretty good job, like so far. He's pretty handy. Oh my God, he did it immediately. That was so impressive. Good job. Everyone's asleep, calm, cool, collected. School starts in like, oh, a couple minutes. Oop. You'll have to eat and go to the bathroom at school. I'm sorry, girls. I messed up and didn't wake you you up in time for school. I apologize. But you guys do need to study hard. So do your best at school today. Musical volunteering. Rose is sitting with her class at assembly when the music teacher asks for a volunteer. The teacher is looking right at her, but Rose can see how excited the kid next to her is to go up on stage. Should Rose take the chance or send the other kid? Rose would 100% send the other kid. Even though she loves music too, she'd be like, no, I think the other kid should go. They clearly really want it. Rose sits back while the other kid takes the stage. The kid looks pretty embarrassed as he's asked to improvise provide something on bongos. Before Kit Rose can laugh, the music teacher calls her up to play backup on rain stick. That's not even a real instrument. Oh no. Well, she tried to do her best, you know. Ooh, he's tense. What was that? Is there a bug in the, oh my God, there's bugs here. Oh, he's so stressed. He's like, not again, another infestation. I hate when this happens, when I've got like a bunch of bugs in the house. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Looks like we're doing okay. Let's like have a little leftover moment, you know, eat a little something, something. Classic Foxberry. Although how, what's the quality of that? Like that doesn't look very good. It is poor, yep. He doesn't seem to care though, cause I think he's a glutton. So it doesn't really bother him that it's uh, poor. He's just like, food is food. Everything's great, cannot relate. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's the hot neighbor. Oh, Davy! Uh, wait, who's doing this? It's Davy. Davy, get over here. Stop that. What is going on? Please, Davy. I know that you love to woohoo with your wife. Oh, who's this? Rico! Wait! Were Davy and Rico a thing, or is Rico in there with Davy's wife? <gasps> Complain about the noise. Um, Rico, he is not married to anyone, but Davy is. Oh my gosh. Who are we yelling at? I'm sorry, you're right. That was a bit inconsiderate. It. We'll try to keep the noise down. Oh, what is he doing? Is he dancing with someone? Okay, Davy. Poor Davy. I think he's having just a rough life right now. You're the one that's been making noise, haven't you? Yeah, please stop. I can't tell who's hooking up. I'm gonna watch. Wait, it looks like he's dancing with someone too. You know, maybe they're in an open marriage. Maybe that's their vibe. Nothing but respect for that. Let's go eat something else. Maybe we'll like invite over our new best friend who are waiting to die. Maybe the reason why he's like so attached to wanting to see one of these people die is because he wants to like see Grim again. You know, his like worst enemy. Oh, look at them. They're playing toys and stuff in there. What an interesting life these two are leading. I'm kind of enjoying watching. Oh, now they look like they might be arguing. Please Davy, don't break anything, okay? Lola, three days left. Okay, excellent, excellent. Invite her in. Hello, Lola. Welcome. We're chatting 
chatting with everyone. Davy's here, who's very mad, but we're trying to be, you know, a good neighbor to Davy. Oh, she likes our decor. Thanks, Lola. You know, I've been working very hard on it as a father. Oh God, it's leaking. Our, we have a leaky pipe now. Great. This house is falling apart. It is a nightmare. We're just trying to see if this old woman will die in front of us. You know what? I feel less bad about it because she's evil too. So I feel like she would understand. Fox is chatting with his guests, you know, being a neighbor. Oh, she wants to fight with us too. Yeah, Lola's also evil, but we should become friends, you know? We're evil together. Maybe Lola is the old boss of the crime syndicate, so he's also waiting for her to die so that he can take over. And he wants to beat up on Grimm again, you know? He's feeling confident about that. We've got work in four hours. We cannot miss it, but it would be nice to work on our baking skill again. So maybe we'll read a nice little baking book after we fix this leaky pipe. Should we invite over Cosme Amber? I mean, yeah, I guess. Oh, we should probably call the landlord. Hello, Amber. Amber's over again. She is looking grumpy. Amber is kind of a mean kid. Maybe we should not invite her over. All right, let's take a shower. Briar, why are you sad? Maybe one of her friends at school is sad, so she's kind of taking that on. She's going to grab some leftovers. Rose is chatting up everybody, you know, being her lovely, gracious self. And she's going to go take a shower. All right, our neighbor's heading out. Rose is eating a snack of a little bar here. Briar's playing playing some focused games. I don't know if that's making her focused. Maybe we will ponder some moves, get focused that way. Since you're a tenant in good standing, I'll take a look. Thank you, please fix that. Okay, the leaky faucet's not gonna fix itself. Wow, she's also a little paranoid, it seems. Maybe she knows that everybody's been waiting for her to die. I don't really blame her. And Rose, you need to play your instrument for five hours. Looks good here, just don't call me again too soon, eh? All right, whatever you need, buddy. Dad, are you reading? Good, working on his skills. We're working on everybody's skills here. You'd think at level seven of creativity, she might be a little better at that, but it's all good, queen. Lola was like, I'm gonna head out when she started playing the violin. I do not blame her whatsoever. <gasps> No, we gotta go to work. We gotta go to work. We gotta go to work. Oh my God, we're late by like a couple minutes. Go, 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 go. Go, put it away. Go now, go now, go now. Oh my God, oh my God. We're only like a couple minutes late. I hope that's fine. Oh, that stresses me out. Come on, we gotta get a promotion today. Okay, we have to. Oh, I shouldn't tell my sims to do things right before work. I thought I had focused on it. And Briar hadn't been focused when she finished her homework, so that didn't count. Rats. Oh well, live your dreams, Briar. Oh, Whitney and Peach Schme. What's Whitney from like high school? Why is Whitney in this house? I'm a bit bored. Since when were you our neighbor? She's gonna go sleep in his bed. Oh my gosh, this feels kind of like she's stalking him. Oh my God. He's going to straight up throw a fit when he gets back. Dad is going to be livid. Boom. All right, we played that for a total of five hours. Now we can draw, I think it's a monster. We haven't drawn that yet. Just figuring out all our stuff. Briar's being so such a good girl. Why don't you play some video games? We finished everything on the activity table. Now we just need to reach level 10 of creativity. We're almost done with Rose's artistic prodigy requirement and we're halfway through Briar's, but Briar, the homework thing kind of got us this time. And Whitney is still sleeping in our bed. This is terrifying. I feel so bad. These poor girls. Yes, okay, we are gonna be getting a promotion today. I'm so excited. Come on home, dad. And then we're gonna chew out Whitney. We're gonna toss her out of the house. Okay, the girls homework is done. Why don't we go to sleep, little angels, okay? Dad's coming home soon, but you guys know your bedtime is around midnight-ish, so you guys are going to bed a little late. And Fox is home! Oh my gosh, look at him. He's looking dandy. He is now the brains. Our next promotion is the boss, so he will be the head of the crime syndicate. We do have work today, ah! So we need to like hustle. We need to max mischief skill to level 10. Luckily, we're very close to that already. And we need to reach level six of handing the skill. Are you fucking kidding me? Why is handing this so important? I don't understand. All right, so we're gonna go use the bathroom, but we're gonna work all day today until 6 p.m. on getting these skills up. So let's work on mischief first, maybe? Troll those four rooms. He will get there. I believe in him. We'll have him go to sleep for now. Oh my God, let's get Whitney out. Wake her up. Get her out of your bed. Be like, what are you doing in my house, Whitney? Are you kidding? What are you doing in my bed? Oh my God. Argue 
about parenting be like, what are you doing here? My daughters are in this house. You do not have a key to my house. Imply her mother is a llama. Wait, since we need to work on our mischief, let's be like mischievous to her. Claim to be a criminal mastermind. That, you're not really claiming it as much anymore. Oh, she's leaving. Oh no, come back here, all right? Oh, she's storming out. Either you get out of my house or I'm gonna keep being mischievous to you. I feel like though she's like kind of liking it okay because she's a little weird, but she's like thinking he's funny and stuff and doesn't hate it what, that he's yelling at her like this, but we're just using her to level up our mischief skill. I wonder if we could pickpocket her. Yeah, she's not liking some of these, which is good. Yeah, we're gonna keep doing this until you leave. Maybe scare her a bit. Oh, you don't like me? Oh, I'm so, so sorry about that. No, get out of my house. I mean, if you wanna eat my baked goods, you kinda can because, you know, I have a lot of them. All right, let's try to pickpocket her. Oh, you don't like me? Well, I don't like you. Here we go. Got him. Woo, she didn't even notice. She's tense because we keep messing with her. Well, it's not my problem. You're the one that came in and slept in my bed. You are going to be the victim for my mischief until I level up. Yeah, that's right, Tiff. What's your name? Whitney Impeachishme. I hate that we have so many Impeachishmes that we're like angry with, but it is what it is, you know? Yes! Level 10, good job, Fox. Okay, now kick her out of the house. Absolutely go home. And I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna go to bed. Get out of my house, Whitney. Oh, and the girls are going to school in an hour. They're taking care of their needs. They're being good girls, you know? It's fine, maybe she'll appease this other one. It seems like her sister just kind of walked by him. Rose, what a sweetie. She's just drawing on her own for fun before school. That's so cute, I love that. All right, girlies, go off to school, you guys go. And how sleepy is dad? He's like decently sleepy. It's the school spelling bee and Rose has made it to the final round. Congrats, Rose. But this time she's never even heard of the word she's supposed to spell. Glancing around the room, Rose sees the class brainiac flash her notebook with a word written neatly on it. Should she accept the help or give it her best gift? I feel like she wouldn't want to cheat, so she would give it her best shot. Rose knows she can do this on her own. She closes her eyes, blocks in the notebook and guesses each letter slowly. Incorrect, the brainiac falls off her chair laughing. Still better to lose honestly, right? Poor Rose. You know what? I should give these to Rose. These little like seed packets because she wants to do gardening later. You can get up now. Weird science in lab. Rose's science experiment exploded and made a big mess along with frightening another student. We think she did it on purpose. She definitely did it. So no real harm done. Okay, she's probably fine. I don't think she did it on purpose. Take a brisk shower. Get you nice and energized for the day. We got a lot of work to get done before work. Let's get some leftovers. We're gonna crush this uh, career. We just need to finish the handiness skill. That's all we gotta do. So let's see if we can upgrade any objects. We cannot. Okay, after you eat your thing, we're gonna have you finish up your handiness skill. Oh, we got these. Don't mind if I do. Oh, we got a stolen necklace. Oh, we're definitely putting that in our bedroom here. We'll just delete that and we're gonna start up this guy right here. Perfect. Let's craft a garden planter for our daughter because then she can start gardening and I think she'd like that. Noosh, noosh. Noosh, noosh. Exactly. He's feeling energized. He's feeling like he's ready to hustle. We're almost level five, so I think we should be able to get it done, but I don't know. Oh, and Rose and Briar are ace students. Girls, I'm so proud of you both. Let's go home and not make a mess outside, please, Rose. I know you're creative. Let's go de-stress a bit, okay? Why don't you play your games? Rose, can you go pick up the seed packets? These are all for you, and Dad's making you a little planter so you can plant some, okay? Let's have her, like, maybe ponder some moves, and after you do that, why don't you practice a little bit since you're feeling creative? All right, back to dad. He's feeling energized. He likes handiness. See, he just had to power through it. Okay, we're gonna pause here. I really want to get this done and I'd be really excited if we could level it up today. All right, needs TLC, but there's another one we can do, right? Is it homey? Mixology handiness. Let's do that and then have him try to master handiness more. We're gonna craft another garden planter for our daughter here. We're level five, so we just need one more. Oh, Rose is going through a face. She's gonna feel clingy. That's so cute and so Rose. Briar's focused. Okay, do your homework. Perfect timing. I'm really juggling these three Sims right now. I'm telling you. We got work in 32 minutes. I don't know if he's gonna make it, but we're gonna keep trying. He's not. Oh, and Briar's got a picky eater phase. Of course she does. All right, let's go to work. We almost were there, but we just missed it. But it means we will definitely, definitely be getting our promotion on Sunday. Briar, did you finish your skills? Yay! Okay, now she needs to craft three emotional potions and achieve a level 10 skill. All right, so the emotion potion I think is its own little like thingy. Yeah, that probably fits right there. All right, sweetie, why don't you make a little emotion potion? Let's go, you got a new toy from dad because 
Daisy loves you so very much. We've got Briar working on her little potions and her mental skill. Oh, and there's a rat again. Little Briar made the most amazing health potion. Briar's taking herself to bed. Okay, good night, Briar. Rose is working on her creativity, but we just need to finish her creativity level 10 and then we're done. Oh, and there's more of these little packets in here. Why are you getting down? Oh, she's mad about the mouse keeps waking her up. Can she call the landlord? Oh no. One of the neighbors is woohooing too loud. Oh, that's gonna make Briar really mad too. Well, Briar, we, you can take your anger out on somebody really soon. Yep, there she goes. Pound on the door. She's like, um, excuse me, get out here. She's just barefoot child in the hallway, pounding on this adult, Nicholas and Peachishmay. Belittle his anger. Be like, you're pathetic. Stop being mad, I'm a child. Also, don't make loud noises. Rude introduction. Just be like, we don't like you, all right? My dad doesn't like you and I don't like you. My dad is the brains behind an operation, okay? So you better be quiet. Otherwise, my dad's gonna come home and he is going to make you pay. Roseberry completed her homework. Good job, Rose. I love that Rose is like in here just freaking out a little bit. Oh, it's too noisy to sleep. Can we sleep in our dad's bed? No. She's gonna go take a nice little uh, shower or bath, I guess. Maybe she'll sleep in the bathtub. And Briar is, you know, cooking up some fun little potions. She's experimenting. She's having a time. Oh my God. Get out of my house, dude. We didn't invite you in. I don't like that they come in our house after we yell at them. We're gonna go to sleep. I know it's stressful having loud neighbors and rats in your rooms, but everything's okay. Dad will be home and he'll take care of the rat, okay? Dad's home. He did great work and he earned a vacation day, but he didn't get a promotion, unfortunately. We weren't able to get it done in like the amount of time that we had. So close though. We are good. So we will definitely get the promotion next time. He's gonna go grab uh, some food. Let's go tuck Rose in. Oh, he's giving her a nice little kiss. Two hours later. Rose is awake. Oh my gosh, the rat is still an issue. Poor baby. But you did get to sleep through most of the night, so that was good. How's Briar? Oh, Briar's really scared about the rat too. Poor girls. Okay, dad will wake up and call the landlord about it, all right? And we're going to grab really quick for dad. I just want to get this kind of over with, over and done with, to be honest. So we're going to have him keep building his garden planter. Oh, you reached level seven of the parenting skill. Good job, buddy. Oh, Briar's going straight to school. I guess it's school time. Have a fun day at school again. It's Friday. It might be the day that that woman dies. So let's invite her over. Lola. Hello, Lola. Come on in. One day left. Okay. So I think she might die tomorrow. Potential cheater. It isn't easy earning top grades and Briar is feeling the pressure now. It doesn't help that one of the girls keeps sitting close, glancing her way out with her sweet, innocent eyes. Is she trying to be friendly or just copy off of Briar? What to do? I feel like Briar would confront her. She'd be like, even if the girl is trying to copy, she'll never admit it. When Briar accuses her of cheating, those sweet innocent eyes fills with tears. Now everyone thinks Briar is mean. Eh, that doesn't surprise me that that interaction happened, but it's fine. We're trying to become friends with Lola, you know, compliment her outfit. You're looking good today, boss. He wants to go to work ready for new challenges. He has a fear of a dead end job. Oh, that is so interesting to me. He's chatting. He's eating his little oatmeal cookie moment. He's just picking up the habit. You know, it's good for him and his career, but it's also good as a dad. Oh, and Lola left. Lola, don't you dare go and die somewhere without me. Okay, we're gonna go throw this away. Absolutely don't need that anymore. But look at these. We've got a little garden pot for our daughter. Maybe I'll give that to her on her birthday because I don't know if there's much room for it. I guess we could put it here. There's no windows in this room. There's that back one, I guess. Let's see if she can grow anything in here. We've got everything ready for work in three days. So on Sunday, ooh, he's feeling angry. Well, why don't you knock politely and go see if it works out. I don't think it will. They ignored you. So at least you tried being nice the first time. Dominique, please stop. All right. It's bugging me. I don't even know what's going on with you and your husband. I live here too. I'm sorry. Your life is boring. I hate that people keep calling me boring. It is the worst, but we're happy now. So that's good. We're going to go, I guess, grab some food food. Dominique, no, you're not invited over, okay? Oh my god, see? Rico's here again. I feel like Rico and Dominique have something going on. I don't know what it is, but it's something, okay? I'm such a busybody neighbor. In real life, I know nothing about my neighbors, but in The Sims, I'm a busybody. I gotta know all the tea. Lola, come on over. What if Lola and I did a workout together? You know what? No, don't invite classmate Amber over, okay? Can we do a workout with? Okay, no, we can't. I was like, what if we accidentally kill her? You know, not that I killed her, but that 
we just ended up working out together and she died. That would be unfortunate because it happens with old people, right? Okay, girlies, get out of that apartment, the stranger's apartment and come on inside. We're starting an event where we have to work out. Come on, baking club is now workout club. So let's work out, do a little power sculpting video. Come on, it's workout club. Where are you going? Oh, Rose is feeling a little sassy. Okay, where do I have Briar? Briar is asking dad for advice. Aw. Witness to a bully. Some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help, but I didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? Step in and stand up for your friend. A hundred percent he would say that. He'd be like, yeah, we know. We 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 protect our own. So let's work on your creativity. Okay, go practice your violin. Briar, what do you need to do for your next? Oh yeah, we need to level up our potion. So keep experimenting, sweetheart. Why is she not working out with us? It's workout club. Are you not gonna do any workouts, Lola? It's not really working out as anticipated, but I guess our our fitness skill is leveled up, so that's kind of nice. If we don't get to witness Lola die, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> this is kind of hard. Oh, they're going to the Spice Festival. You know what? Yeah, let's all go to the Spice Festival. Why not? We're gonna bring Briar, Lola, and Rose, and we're gonna go to the Spice Festival together. I don't take the girls out much. We don't go to do things. We stay at home a lot. Might as well go to this festival. Maybe Lola could die from having too spicy a food. I have no idea. We're all here at the Spice Festival together. Me and my girlies. Lola, who's feeling flirty, is here, living it up. Let's eat the spicy challenge together. Oh, definitely. Let's all do it together, gang. Uncle Slate hasn't hung out with the girls, so that'll be nice, them getting to spend time with him. Have they even met him? I don't think Briar's actually met him. Has Rose met him? Rose has. Briar's gonna officially meet Uncle Slate. Oh, Foxberry failed the spicy challenge. Okay, Lola, your turn. Lola's made of stronger stuff. I mean, being the crime boss of the syndicate, I guess would do that. I would harvest it all of these, but I guess I don't need to. Although Rose could harvest them. We could give them to Rose for her garden. What is this? Dragon fruit? Dude. Let's go harvest everything and give them to our daughter so someday she can plant them in, in her own garden. She like mentioned maybe once that she likes plants and all of a sudden he's like doing everything in his power to give her every single plant that he sees. They are all for her. Oh, and even a cow plant. Wow. You know, if anyone was gonna have a cow plant, Rose would be very cute with a cow plant. I'm not gonna lie. It's a Friday night, you know? Oh, Briar's asleep on the couch or on the bench when so was Rose. Rose, why don't you go use the toilet? Lola's over here at the bar. You gotta keep an eye on her, brighten her day, you know? She's only got a couple days left of life. We gotta make them the best that we can. So we're sitting with Slay and with uh, Lola. We all ended up in here. Look at that, okay. Our daughter's just chilling. Rose is asleep on a pew. And this is the very pew that Rose Jen's family sat on. I feel like it's about over, you know? Let's all maybe go home. The girls are passing out. It's 9.30. We had our fun spicy food challenge. It was a good time. Thanks for inviting us out, Slate. We're back home. Everybody's getting their needs fulfilled. Very tired here. We're gonna take a sleep. Rose is good. She's gonna go to bed. And Briar is sad because of, oh, that cheater. She's like, she's still sad about that. She's like, mm, that girl. I know she was cheating off of me. I know it. Fox is getting everything sorted and asleep. And it's Saturday, so the girlies get to sleep in, enjoy a nice snooze. Let's go give him a savant. Hopefully that'll help us with baking. Also, I'm, I'm wondering if there'll be like something to do with baking for our lot challenges. I'm gonna try this chef kitchen. Oh, we got one smelly queen. Let's go, come on, girlie. Now she's all happy because she got a nice cleanup. Oh, she wants to become friends with Lola. That's so cute. Why don't you eat some bread pudding? Actually, that would make a pretty good breakfast, Brit pudding. You're doing great. Why don't you experiment? Work on your skill here because you need to get that up. Craft three emotional potions. I'm pretty sure this is a science table. So I think we just need to like level up our skill until we can make an emotional potion. Rose is awake. She is ready to grab a fudge bar for breakfast. And then we need to achieve a level 10 of creativity skill. So why don't we work on that? We are currently level nine. So we're getting close. Oh, and who's this? Dario Mallory. I don't even even know you. Why is he coming into our home and getting a glass of water and leaving? And he's sad and he disappeared. Is he a ghost? Maybe he's the ghost of someone that Fox killed at work. Speaking of people we are killing, let's start a gathering of the club. Lola, why don't I just like chilling with my kids? Just be friendly. That's a good one. Club members have been notified and are on their way. You better be on your way. And I'm not turning this off all day. You're gonna have to come hang out with us all day. Hopefully you will die sometime today. Lola, 
Oh, Briar's so happy. She wants to become friends with Lola. I feel like Lola's like the closest they've had as like kind of a grandmother figure because unfortunately their own grandmother passed when they were still very young. So they kind of just accepted Lola as their own. And Lola's being such a little, like she is very much loving on Briar, which is very cute. And she's doing push-ups. Okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent. We're awake. We're chomping down some yummy cookies. We're being friendly because of our lovely requirements here. Let's bake something. Herb bread. That sounds really good, actually. I would love to bake that. Oh, and look who's over. Violet's over. Wait, what about Lola? Did Lola head out? Looks like Lola did head out. Oh God. He likes cooking. Yes, he does. Lola, please come back. Send her a text. Lola. Lola, come home. What is he going to do? He's going to insult his sister. Don't be sassy. I have to babysit him in order for him to maintain good relationships because he's just got that little devil on his shoulder being like, make fun of her. And you're like, dude, don't. Lola, come back. We'll do onion bagels. That sounds good. Why is Lola not showing up? I know Lola's going to die today and I just need her to be here with me. Can we figure out where Lola lives? Where do you live, Lola? It doesn't say. It just his career. Sim commands. Can we just bring her here? Summon the Sim. Okay, she'll be right over. Good, 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 good. Lola. There she is. What's up, Lola? I will traumatize my daughters to see Lola die. I'm not gonna lie. That would not be great, but we gotta keep Lola around until she picks it, okay? Come on, Lola. Join me in cooking. There it is. Yes, we did it. We're going to witness the death of this Sim. Oh my God, the girls. I feel so bad for the girls, but we gotta witness this death. Witness this death. Witness it, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, okay, he's witnessing. Here we go. Oh, my poor darling daughters are trying traumatized, but we've done it. We witnessed death of the crime boss. We will soon be promoted next day at work. I knew this would work out. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. He's crying though. It's still a super bad time, but our aspiration is completed. One thing down. We just need baking and our career to go. And oh my God, Grim is here. Our nemesis, Grim. Oh, Grim. We can plead for Lola. I'm pretty sure Grim's going to say no because he hates us. Oh my God. No way. We saved Lola again. <gasps> I cannot believe this. We resurrected Lola. See, I'd never do my daughters like that, okay? Fox has insane luck. Rose, go give Lola a big hug or something. Can you hug Lola? I don't know if she can hug her because she doesn't really know her that well, but I see you don't want to be disturbed. We're a little busy, dude. We got Grim here. We can't really fight Grim right now. We're chilling though. Everyone's fine. See, everybody's fine. I crushed it, okay? I crushed it. All right, now we just need to finish up our baking and we will be finished. I'm so proud. And Grim is just in our house. Grim, maybe leave. All right. Yes. Baking level nine. Let's go. Oh my gosh. We only have one more level of baking. The girls are happy. They are not devastated, which is very good. Lola's doing great. Lola's right there. Nothing wrong with Lola. Yes. We can make a chocolate souffle. Ooh. Well, we got to do that. And then you got to use the bathroom. How's our daughter Briar? She's a little embarrassed. I think someone walked in on her while she was going to the bathroom, but she's been working on her mental skill. Oh, she can create emotion potions now. Good job, sweetie. How's Rose? Rose is a little tense. Why don't you play with your emotion? Okay. Our daughters are handling this somewhat traumatic event, but we still crushed it. Bye, Lola. Have fun. You know, we, we can disband the baking club. Baking club is now disbanded. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Man, that was creepy. Oh, I hated that, but it worked. And you know what? We did a good thing. We saved Lola's life, really. So she got to live longer because of us. Ooh, little Briar made a delightful concoction. Good job, little Briar. Rose is feeling a lot better after, oh, and she's almost done with her aspiration. Come on, Rose, you got this. Briar took herself to take a little nap. All right, a little nap time. Love that for you. It was an overwhelming day. Dad, meanwhile, nothing but baking for this man, okay? He is feeling super inspired. He made some really great chocolate souffles. I think we should make more. The skill is going up quite a bit, so I love that. Oh, and our friends are all here. He's just spending the whole day baking, just loving life. Rose is feeling pretty good. She's a little hungry. Sweetie, why don't you grab maybe like a quick meal of like edamame, you know? Maybe something that's like kind of vegetable adjacent might be good for you. She's thinking about Lola. She wants to be friends with her, but look who's here. It's your whole family. 
anti-violence here. Share a little secret. Maybe like, I saw death today. That's a fun secret to share. Give your mom a hug. Oh, she doesn't even know Reed. So she needs to introduce herself to Uncle Reed. Oh, and Violet has a little sentiment with Vox. That's so lovely. Just keep baking, my man. Keep baking. Never stop. He's spending all his money on baked goods. How are you doing, darling? You need to work on your mental skill and make more potions. You do that. We need you to finish up your skills too. Sadly, reading doesn't count as anything, which is like kind of dumb. How's Fox? He's feeling very confident. Yeah, because he saved that woman's life. I'm not surprised. <gasps> but look how close he's level nine. Oh my gosh. We just need to get inspired. How do we get inspired? Maybe stargaze? Roseberry, finish your aspiration, please. Yeah, thank you. Woo, aspiration completed, baby. That's two Sims's aspirations. Can I get three? Why don't you drink the little orange juice in the milk? Fox is confident. He's gonna go grab a serving of food, okay. Oh no, I wanted him to finish up his baking, but I know people are gonna be mean. It's okay, maybe Briar will take care of it. She's making a mess anyway. Why don't you go pound at the door and take care of it for us, Briar? Oh, and what is Rose doing? Rose is going outside to make a mess. Rose, come back inside. Girls, stop being messy, okay? Rose, why don't you read a little book? Go read, calm something down, okay? Briar's gonna handle this. Oh yes, he's inspired again. Amazing, amazing. Everything is going according to plan. Please don't make any more noise, Dana. Oh, he's so close. Come on, buddy. Please finish. Don't make me do another one. Yes, we maxed the baking skill. Boom, baby. Piece of cake. It was not a piece of cake at all, actually. It was exhausting, but we did it. We've maxed the baking skill. He baked a lot just to get all his feelings out. We have work in 18 hours. We just need to boss that day. All right, we just need to upgrade some objects or something. Just make this day the best ever at work, and then we will have been ready to go. Both of you should go to bed. It's like midnight. Fox is gonna work on his upgrade task. I don't know if we can do any more upgrades. We'd have to maybe go somewhere else. Why don't you go to sleep? You've got work at 6 p.m. That's like the most normal time of day, honestly, that you've ever gone to work. Briar is first up. She's gonna go probably to the restroom. No, she's gonna grab a souffle from dad. Ate sugar their entire childhood. Briar's gonna go use the toilet. Is their birthday this week? Their birthdays are on Wednesday, so they'll probably age up in the next episode. No, I don't want them to age up. Well, in that case, we need to really focus on Briar today. Make sure she finishes up her emotion potions. I know you wanna play video games, sweetie. Unfortunately, video games really should be part of the WizKid aspiration, and it is not, and that is a disservice, I think, but it's fine. Ooh, little Briar made her third emotion potion. Fabulous. So now we just need to work on our mental skill until we're done. She's level eight now, so she just has two more levels. Rose, stop going outside to go make messes. Oh, I love that she's sitting next to her sister and chatting while she does her homework and her sister's working on her mental skill. It's so cute. Foxberry is awake. Paris thinks Briarberry Swell wants to become best friends with Briar. That is so cute, of course. Oh my God, Briar is best friend with Violet. That's so sweet. I love that. How's Fox? Oh, he's feeling uncomfy because of his cheat bed. Well, we can't upgrade the bed actually. We do have a lot of money. I love that we just like forget. I think he's saving it up to like give to the girls for when they want to move out someday. So I feel like he's like saving up for their savings. He like won't spend anything, but we can buy something nice for him. I like this one. There you go. Now he's got a nice orange bed, a much better bed. So hopefully your back will be less sore. Oh, we got a friends hangout. Of course, Violet always brings over everybody. Come on in everyone. Lola's calling. I think Nikki Aoki is pretty cute. Yes, flirty queen. Go for it. Obviously so happy for her. Rose's homework is complete. And then Fox, why don't you obliterate some of these rats and in your daughter's bedroom that keep kind of coming in here. Fox put down the trap. He's overwhelmed by the rat. <laughs> Classic man, gonna troll your floor rooms. Works in six hours, six hours. Rose is tense, stressed with strangers. Oh, she's like, I don't know Reed very well. Why don't you introduce yourself? Briar's outside making a mess. Classic. We got our sassy girl Briar is back here. We're gonna do some homework. How's Fox? He's crushing it. We got work in five hours. That is perfect. We can repair that. Oh, we got a 
have an upgrade part. Excellent. Nothing we can't upgrade anything. What will we need to upgrade more of this? Two plumbing upgrade parts. All right, how do we buy a second plumbing upgrade part? I'm just gonna do it. Upgrade parts, plumbing. We're gonna do two of them. Now we can upgrade. Boom, water recycler. Here we go. So we're crushing it. We're gonna be so prepared for work today. There's no way we're not getting this promotion. I'm so excited. Which will mean that if we do this, if we clinch this, we will finish the orange gen in this episode. Briar's homework is complete. Good job, Briar. So now I'm just gonna let him be because I feel like when I control the sim, they go to work late. Oh my God, we broke it again. Never mind, I'm not letting him be. He's gonna upgrade this. Now I'm gonna let him be. Is Rose doing extra credit? She is. What a cutie patootie. He's helping her with her homework. Oh, he did it on his own. I didn't even have to tell him. He's like, maybe you should try uh, that new math stuff. <laughs> You know, when I was your age, we used old math, but it wasn't called old math then. Okay, we're level nine, so we just need, okay, Fox starts working an hour. I'm just gonna let Fox do whatever he needs to do because normally they will auto go to work. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. He gave his daughter a hug. Okay, time for work. <gasps> Here we go. This is the day. This is the moment. This is what we've been working for. We're gonna schmooze with the boss as long as we can. It's going well, it's going well. The schmoozing is working. It looks like someone broke something, but it's fine. We're focusing on dad right now. Heist decision. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Being the brains means making the big calls. Like this could make or break us actually. Which heist should the crew pull next? They could steal a pterodactyl bone for an evil scientist hoping to clone an evil dino army, or they could dog nap the star of chonky dog food commercials and hold him for ransom. I don't know which one's correct. I think it's like a 50, 50. I've never gotten this before. I'm really stressed. My heart tells me dog caper. Oh no. There will be no ransom. Oh my God. So we didn't do well, but it doesn't say that it decreased our skills. So I think everything's still okay. He's sad now. Okay, let's work hard instead. All right, we're excellent though. We're getting close. Aspiration completed. Good job, Briar. Someone in the hallway playing guitar. It is Catalina. Why don't we ask her to hang out? Come on, mom, come on inside. We still have a chance to reach the next level of work. We've done everything we could possibly do. Comes home at 1 a.m. So we've got like an hour and a half left. This could be it. Did we clinch it? <laughs> no, we didn't get it. Oh my God. We were so close. Look at him. He looks devastated. Also, he looks slick as heck. But unfortunately, we did not accomplish the top level of the boss, but we will get it in the next one. So I think next one will be our final episode for Orange Gen. We accomplished a lot in today's episode. I'm still pretty proud. Look at him. He's so devastated. We're not going to have to wait that long. Thank goodness to be leveled up in this career. We have plenty of money for the girls to inherit once they decide they want to move out and start start out on their own. And Catalina seems like over him. I don't know what her vibe is here, but him coming in, she's like meh. We also completed Briar's aspiration and Rose's aspiration. They're all ready to become teens and start through high school, which I'm very excited to take both of them to high school and see how they interact with their classmates. And so I will leave this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next episode, the finale of the Orange Generation. Bye! Today we gave it a good shot team. We almost made it, but we bet the wrong horse or the wrong dog.